Good morning. It is the last Saturday in June. I'm still in my pajamas. We are working on this drywall and uh, it is getting close. However, everything from the main living spaces are all in storage. So the things that we still wanted to have access to are either in our bedroom or out in the shop. Uh, the table saw table work board that Ben created for, made for himself has ended up becoming more like a kitchen countertop. So I'm thankful that he took that project on. He is prepping to build our kitchen cabinets. And so in the interim, while we're waiting for drywall, that uh, prep work that he did to get ready for cabinets has served another purpose. So that's pretty, pretty handy. I'm going to show you how far we are and just to give everyone an idea, I just had memories pop up on Facebook from four years ago, which was when we did our original barn raising is what we called it. And that's when we had a ton of awesome family members come in and help us frame out the space that became the apartment. They also helped us install the two windows and lift in the air conditioners. So after that, uh, the next step was that Ben and I insulated and then we had to do some framing to be able to hang the drywall because the way that the barn was built um, isn't correct for where you need studs to land to screw the drywall. So we only got our bedroom done and part of the kitchen done for drywall when Ben's back started hurting. We had the ceiling done as well. And um, it just got to be where it was going to be more than what we physically could do. So we have hired out the remainder of the drywall. Uh, they hung all the rest of the drywall, which was about 22 sheets in one day, which is so much faster than we could have ever gotten done. And then the person doing the mudding has been here for two days and has taped every seam and gotten the corners on the doors. So let me show you. So this right now is the view as you would walk in the front door. And this is the kitchen space. Ben built a platform with wheels for us to put our um, love seat on so that we can move it around. <laughs> but we didn't have to lift it through a doorway. So as we step in, lighting got better. That's the door to the shop, and then the front door. Step back to this corner. You can hear my chick that cries all the time. She does sleep. But that's, that's good. We lived in a trailer when we were first married for the first two and a half or three years, and I told Ben when we decided to go to a small living space that I was really good with that. I was. I'm excited about it. Our goal is to be able to do things the way that we want with higher quality finishes, um, or at least our style of finishes, but not have as many unnecessary things. So quality versus quantity. And after having lived in the trailer, I said, I really want to have enough ceiling height. It won't feel as small. So this main room has 11 foot ceilings. And you can see how much they've gotten done. To prep for this, we took out every light fixture. So there was a chandelier, two fans, and then our two pendant lights for the kitchen. This is kind of the real mess of what it's like. Um, all the kitchen cabinets have come out, the kitchen sink, everything. So up the ladder is the loft space which is where my office is. And it's probably second most done compared to our bedroom. And the reason we haven't built the stairs yet is because Ben said, really drywall should happen first. And so I'm very excited because I've been climbing this ladder for over a year to get up into the loft space. I just came up the ladder. And as you come up the ladder, you have 
two windows looking to the outdoors and you'll be able to see them a little bit better when I get to the other side of the room. For the ceiling, we have um, about an eight and a half foot ceiling up here. This is the beam that we put in when we took out the, seat, the uh, rafters. So it stretches clear across the room and then the ceiling beneath it to the left and below in the screen follows the roof line. We have a lot of closet space up here. This is the most closet space in the entire barn apartment. And to ensure that we had a method for furniture to come in that was too big to come up through the staircase or as an emergency fire exit, we have a four foot wide opening right here that goes out into the shop. And it is a plug that is insulated just like a wall. Eventually it will be on very short wheels and we will be able to um, use a lock and um, pull it up tight against the wall. And then in an emergency, um, those little locks can be quickly undone and it can be rolled out of the way. So I'm in the very far corner. This is a regular standard size wall. You can see the little fans. Um, they help push some of that wood heat in the winter up stairs. So there's the stair opening, two windows, Ben's desk, and the closets. Hi, Chip. Yeah. Chip can climb the ladder, so this is his private domain. Yeah, and he likes to come see me when I'm at work. It's Chip and Mommy time. I'm going to head back down the ladder and show everyone the bathroom, hallway, and utility room. I'm still coming down the ladder. I wanted to show this view. I'm, I'm halfway down the ladder, and this door in front of me opens to the hallway and then the bathroom, and the doorway on the left is to our bedroom. And you can see then how the staircase opens up into the rest of the room. When we first moved here, the doorway to the hallway is where the red room handle is now. And one thing that I noticed is that when you walk out of the bathroom, you could see the front door. And I wanted there to be more privacy than that. So Ben had the really great idea that if we move the door around the corner, that then when people were in the laundry room or in the bathroom and then coming out, uh, people who might be at the front door wouldn't be able to see uh, what was going on. So right now our refrigerator and microwave are in our bedroom. We pulled out most of the lights so the lighting isn't as great. This is the hallway and I did have towels and linens here in this corner and cleaning supplies, so they're gone for now. It's really filthy, but that's the way of construction, so I'm not cleaning right now um, because that will make me go mad. So this is the entrance to the bathroom. You can see where our medicine cabinet was. This lets you know that we really lived with this for quite a long time before we got to um, the decision of hiring to get it completed. The blue purple colored board that is in place was the original piece. So there was one piece of drywall in the barn apartment when we moved in. We added the green. Here is the tub. I took a bath last night. And you can see again the how the shower kits come out and you can see how it's faded where the shower kit um, kept the light from the drywall. So I'm going to step backwards. This is the hallway. And so right in front of me, that was just open to the front door in the original design. And, and I like it a lot better now that um, we have that privacy. I'm actually standing in the utility room. So in the utility room, 
we had just exposed batted insulation until they came and installed the drywall. So this is, what I'm gonna show you is a huge improvement over what we've had for the last four years. So we have everything has drywall, it's all covered. No more batted insulation. This far wall is where the hanging clothes will be. That will be a closet. And then there will be a folding table or counter here and a stackable washer and dryer here. So in the utility room, um, everything's all in one place and that will be our bedroom closet. And if I step backwards into the hallway, there is the second opening to our bedroom. And then if I just pan right, this is the bathroom. So it's a pretty compact space, but it works really great for us. And it's going to work even better when it's done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so that you can get updates as we continue our journey with our barn dominium.